I guess we'll have a quick look at Mr. Swartz by Arik Monkis. I'll show you guys how to do the picking stuff which is going throughout the whole song. So firstly, uh, your guitar needs to be in the standard tuning and I hope you got the capo. And it should be on fret 2, so we'll capo up to 2nd fret. Much better. Uh, now we'll have a quick look at the chord phrase which we'll be using for the whole song. A minor, mute, open, 2nd, 2nd, 1st, open. D minor, mute, mute, open, 2nd, 3rd, 1st. B flat, mute, 1, 3, 3, 3, 1, a bit tricky. You can play it like this, by having D string made it, top E string made it, A1, G3, B3, and high E string first string. And then I have a G major chord, 3, 2, open, 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 3. Then I have a B diminished, which is 2nd on E, 3rd fret on D, 3rd fret on B, 1st fret on G. Got an E major open, 2nd, 2nd, 1st open, open. And I have a F, 1, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1. And a G minor, 3, 5, 5, 3, 3, 3. Now let's have a quick look at the right hand. I'm using my thumb to pluck the top three strings, which includes E, A, D. So my thumb is plucking the top three strings, E, A, D. In neck for the G string, middle finger for the B string, ring finger for the high E string. Now we'll have a quick look at the introduction. It goes like this. I hold the A minor chord and I simply pluck the A string, then the G string, then the A string, then the B and high E string together. So we got 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So what I do for the second time, the 3 and, I actually plug the D second fret instead of open E. So we got 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So only for the first round I'm playing the D second. And then again back to A, G, A, E, B, and again D, G, A, E, B. So we got. And again you'll play A, G, A, E, B, and I'll do this. Two on D, one on D, open D, so we got. I hold the D minor chord, I'll pluck the D string, the G string, D string, B and high E string, same thing again. Same thing for the B flat chord, but I'll play the A string this time, so A, G, A, E, B, A, G, A, E, B, and I'll put together them to sound like this. Just a minute. One, two, three, four. Now we have the verse, it starts off with a G major chord. I'll keep the high E string open at the beginning, so I'll play E, G, E, E, B. The second time, I'll play third fret on the high E string, so we got E, G, E, E, B, so we got. I'll go to A minor, I'll play A, G, A, E, B, so we got. I'll go to B diminished, so we have. So we have, I played A, D, A, B, G, then I'll go to E major chord, I'll play E, G, E, E, B, again E, G, E, E, B, then I'll play D minor, D, G, D, E, B, then B flat, A, G, A, E, B, so we got Repeat the same thing another time. So we got and guess you uh, the chorus and we have a G major chord, then a D minor. Over here I pluck E, then G, then E, E B. I do it four times on the G major chord, so we got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and I go to D minor chord, I do the exact same thing, this time D G, 
D E B four times one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and let's go. Then we have the next verse, uh, which will be exactly same. Next chorus, same thing for the bridge. It goes to E major chord, so the pattern will be same. I'll play it four times. E G E E B E G E B E G E B E G E B E minor. Sorry, G minor. Same thing. E G E B four times. Back then F. So it's a bit a uh, different over here. What I did is I played the pattern four times on E major chord, twice on G minor, twice on F. Then again, E major chord. I'll play the pattern twice. G minor twice, F twice, E twice. So you see that what I did over here. So it goes like this. Again, once more the bridge a bit slowly. Next words, uh, it will be the same thing, and then you have the last chorus. Same thing, and that's our whole song. So I hope the video helped you out. I went a bit fast, I agree. So for the song, it's all about the picking pattern to show you guys. It's basically the bass note, G string, bass note, then the B and high E string plot together. That's a cheat code for every chord shape. Follow the chord progression, play the pattern, you're ready to go. That's it. I hope the video helps you out. Bye.